Hi, it's me again, and today I've got another one of the ridiculous letters that TV licensing think it's okay to send out to you, pestering you to pay for their product, which you probably don't want. And this one has a big red headline. Always my favourite ones. We did not hear from you. This address is still unlicensed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down. If you've received it, don't worry. We're going to break it all down. I'm going to let you know what it's all about and how not scary it all is. Dear sir slash madam, we wrote to tell you we were giving you 10 days to get correctly licensed and free from a risk of an enforcement visit. We have not had a response, so this address still does not have a TV license. Then who do they think they are? I don't think they understand that the TV license is optional. If you don't need one, you don't have to buy one. So we wrote to you telling you we were giving you 10 days. You've got 10 days to pay up. Who do they think they are? If you don't pay up, we're going to send the boys round. That's what that said. But you don't need to pay. If you genuinely don't need a television license, like you don't watch anything as it's been broadcast, and you don't use BBC iPlayer, you don't require a television license. So what right do they have to send you letters like this? It's just wrong, isn't it? And then they put the big red stamp over there. Always makes me laugh, the big red stamp. Enforcement visit approved. Wow. It's ridiculous. Don't be scared by these letters. We're going to read on a bit more, and then I'll tell you what whole enforcement enforcement thing is about. What you can expect now, your case has been escalated to your local enforcement division covering your area, so you can now expect a visit. <gasps> oh no, they're going to visit. Oh, I'm worried I'm going to buy a TV license immediately. If the enforcement officer finds that you have been watching or recording TV programs live on any channel or device, streaming programs live via an online TV service, or downloading or watching BBC programs on BBC iPlayer, you will be interviewed under caution. This could lead to you being prosecuted for a criminal offence. If found guilty, you can be fined up to a grand, plus any legal costs and or compensation may be ordered to pay. To stop a visit to your address while there is still time. God, you need to act now. And bold letters. That's it. I thought tough selling was illegal or pressure selling was illegal in this country. How is that not pressure selling? To stop us sending the boys round to your address. There's still time, but you need to act now. How do they get away with it? I have no idea how, how they managed to get away with this. But let's break it down from the top here. So your case has been escalated to the local enforcement division covering your area, so you can now expect a visit. So if you don't have a television license, whether you've told them you don't need one or you're just ignoring them, as is your right to do, you may still get a visit. But it's important to remember that no matter how many times they say the word enforcement, they're not enforcing anything. They don't have any power to enforce anything. They have no more power than you or me. They are door-to-door -door salespeople. They get commission for selling television licenses, which means they're incentivized to pressure you into buying one. They're incentivized to scare you into buying one. And the only way to win is to not talk to them. It's that easy. All you've got to do is close the door say, no, thank you. They'll knock on the door say, hello, I'm from TV Licensing. And you go, no, thanks, bye. And you close the door. That's it. It's, it couldn't be simpler. If you don't believe me that that's a thing, I've got a playlist on this channel of the goon visits. You can go and have a look at people closing doors in their faces. And these blokes toddle off, not getting their commission that day, and try and find some easier prey that we all hope they don't find. But I promise you, they can say enforcement division, enforcement agents, all they want. They are door-to-door -door salesmen. They don't have any powers. They can't come into your home and they can't threaten you. They can't put their foot in the door. They can't do anything. They are door-to-door -door salesmen. Do not be scared of them. Do not be scared of them at all. But just don't talk to them and close the door. It's that easy. And they reckon they can investigate all these things, right? But they, they said they've written letters to this person before. This letter is addressed to Dear Sir Madam. So they don't even know this person's name. So they're not investigating anything and they're not enforcing anything. They don't have any powers to do it. Now they do say if an enforcement officer finds you've been watching, blah, blah, blah. Now without a television license, as I said, you can't watch or record anything that's been broadcast or use BBC iPlayer. But you don't have to tell them that. That's none of their business if they do knock on your door. They might ask to come in and check the stuff. But don't talk to them. Get that door Shut. There's so many horror stories of them stitching people up. If you pay people with commission, you're incentivizing them to do stuff they wouldn't normally do to earn their commission because they've got rent and bills to pay as well. And the only way to win, don't.
talk to them. Just get the door shut. It's that simple. And then they can't do anything. They don't know what you're watching. They don't know who you are. They know nothing. And that's the way it should be. And the more people that do that, the less visits will go on. Because these people get paid by commission. If they're not earning any commission, they're going to go find another job, aren't they? And just to put salt in the wound of the scary, more big red lettering at the bottom. Act now to stop this visit. So they do like to threaten you with a visit. And one of the other letters they send out, I've done a story about it. It's on the channel somewhere in a playlist for the letters. They send one saying, and it's got a window, right, on the envelope with like a little calendar thing and then a red date circled off. And it says, will you be in on this date? Our enforcement team are going to visit you. And not once, I've tracked back with hundreds of people now, not once have they turned up on that date. Don't let them scare you. This is to scare you into paying for something you might not want. And if you don't need it, don't pay for it. Don't talk to them because you don't want anything to do with them. If you're not paying your TV license, you don't want anything to do with the BBC or TV licensing. Why would you speak to these people? You know, if you're allergic to dusters and a duster salesman knocked on your door, you'd go, no, thanks, bye. Act like that. You know, it's simple, isn't it? Don't be scared by it. So if you're interested in seeing about any more of the letters, like I said, I've got a playlist below of all the TV license letters. Go and take a look at that. If you get a letter, you'll find out how to contact me and send me a copy of it, because maybe it's one I haven't seen before. Details for that are below as well. And while you're down there looking at all that, you may as well leave a comment for me. Let me know what you think about this particular letter. And uh, yeah, I will see you in another video again soon. Thanks for watching.